Hey guys, so I'm back with another build video. My last video was actually a uh, stuff pack overview looking at the vintage glamour pack that I re re recently acquired. Um, so if you haven't seen it, go check that out. If you're still sitting on the fence about buying the vintage glamour pack, definitely check it out. I was feeling a little bit sick uh, when I recorded the voiceover for that video though, so I'm a little bit slow. Uh, so if you want to watch it, maybe like speed it up to 1.5 times because my brain was definitely functioning a little slower that day. But anyway, I'm back with a build video, which I think is what I do best considering... <laughs> When I review things, I'm just so like torn, especially when it came to the Vintage Glamour pack because um, I've wanted it for such a long time, but it's kind of expensive. It's like 15 Australian dollars. And then when I got it, there were some items that I really loved and then some that I just was not loving so much. So a few of my builds lately have been um, using the Vintage Glamour pack items a lot. Also, I've been loving the stuff pack items, so uh, you can expect to see some of those items in my builds as well. Um, this video is basically a mansion. I built kind of, well, I feel like a mansion has a lot of rooms, but maybe I'm thinking of a palace. But basically, this is a really big house. And the way I designed it was I went ahead and designed a family first. That's what I said I was going to do in my last video. Because as I was saying in my last video, oh my gosh, I just dropped my headphones. Uh, it, as I said in my last video, I said that I struggle for inspiration sometimes. So um, I went ahead, designed a family. The type of family that I will maybe play in the future um, and they were going to live in this house. So that gave me right off the bat so much more inspiration for this house and my goal for this house was to design something that I wouldn't normally design because lately I've been sticking to more classic designs and they've been a little bit boring. I've just been doing like white on white on white. So I wanted to do something a little bit more out there this time. And so basically this family is, you'll see them at the end in the screenshots. They're a creative family. They're kind of like hipsters. They're basically like, if you know the city Melbourne in Australia, sorry, if, by the way, side note, sorry if my voice sounds super nasally. Of course, my allergies are playing up. Anyway, so if you know the city, Melbourne in Australia, they're kind of like the family that would live there. So they're really creative. So the dad is a musician and the mum is an artist and they have four kids together and the kids are really creative as well. And um, this house is really big. It has so many rooms, so many little nooks and crannies and extra rooms. And as you can see by the layout here, I did like a bird's eye view. You can see that there's like hallways all around and the rooms are central downstairs. So you'll see in a moment, I do end up changing the layout a little bit downstairs um, later on in the game just to make it a bit more functional. But yeah, there ends up being a ton of rooms downstairs and I found it so fun. Like I normally design really open plan areas, so this is really different for me. Oh my gosh, I just had to pause the video because my dad came home and where I live, it's a really tropical area and we're actually expecting a flood. So I had to quickly write a shopping list of all the things we need in case of um, like a major emergency, like when everything floods, we can't leave the house really. Uh, and then the power goes out and our water gets a little bit contaminated. So that's like a little, little bit dramatic. Uh, a little bit of drama happening so uh where did i leave off <laughs> so i was talking about the layout of the house um yeah as you can see there are tons of hallways all around the house oh my god who's messaging me um sorry if you can hear my phone going off everyone's a little bit frantic about this flood um yeah so there's hallways all around the house and i can see the kids kind of like running around them um I think I always liked houses with lots of hallways when I was a kid because it's so fun for like hide and seek and tiggy and stuff. Um, so yeah, really like that. And also there's, it just gives you extra room to put like 
different bits of furniture like occasional chairs a desk if you want to yeah so I didn't really decorate these hallways too much because I found that there were just so many rooms it was a little bit overwhelming to decorate all the rooms let alone the hallways as well but I as you will see there are some little nooks in them that I left for like couches I put some couches in lamps um, hall tables and even a bar so in the little nooks I have put furniture but in the hallways themselves I kind of left quite bare um, if you go ahead and design it yourself let me know uh, what what you did or like if you were to change it let me know what you would do um, as you as you will see throughout this build um, I end up opening some of the rooms up and deleting some of the walls because it was a little bit too segregated like I I'm a woman at heart I'm a woman who loves open plan living at heart <laughs> so yeah I've especially in sims I find that it makes the gameplay so much easier um if um if it's more open plan and you can probably hear my chair squeaking that's not me farting oh my gosh it's my really squeaky office chair it's actually my sister's um but I'm just too cheap to go and buy a new one <laughs> So yeah, here I am opening the walls up again because um, I decided that I wanted this area to be like a little sitting room. Um, so the idea was that there would be a kitchen with um, like an eat-in dining room. So the dining room would be inside the kitchen. Um, and in a big house like this, you'd kind of expect me to, to put in a different room. But I decided I wanted it in there because the kitchen was so big. And this is where I kind of get the idea that this is quite an eclectic family and they like 70s style mod, 60s, 70s style mod eclectic style. You'll see what I mean in a minute. So things are a little bit mi mismatched throughout the house and a little bit crazy looking, but I think it made it more enjoyable. Like, see, here I am experimenting with different colors. Um, I decided to make this area all black really because I wanted it to be a cozy firelit um the coffee table has like a little fire in it. I wanted it to be a cozy firelit sort of moving what movie watching area attached to the dining room somewhere where you can just chill out and wait for dinner and just chat about your day. Um so it was quite dark but then I go for this really crazy green wallpaper which is super 60s 70s mod kind of ugly but kind of really fun at the same time and this is where I get way more creative with the design going with colors that kind of clash but that's what I wanted this is like the personality of the family but if you hate it it would also be a great house to sort of renovate so like you go in and you go oh that wallpaper is ugly but I can make the sims save up so that they can change the wallpaper I think that's fun as well um so <laughs> I went for colors that I would never normally go with green and orange which I think is normally so foul but like green orange and and black together I don't know I kind of like it for this build just knowing the sims personalities just having designed them first I just felt way more inspired to do something a little bit more ambitious than I normally do especially because yeah like I said I normally go for like white on white on white modern or super classic so I wanted to go a little bit a little bit crazy and kind of more mod furniture and by that I mean sort of 70s ish 60s 70s ish um and you'll see what I mean from the way they dress later on. I was going to do like a super glamorous house. But I did just kind of do that. Like I did a Hamptons build. A Hamptons inspired build. Um, and you know I do that so frequently. That I was just like meh. Um, I did kind of struggle finding ways of decorating this room. Because I wanted it to be a music room. Basically just with the violin and the piano. And some seats and chairs. So that the kids can sit down and watch the dad play and he can give lessons and basically yeah just a music room but um it is quite a large room even with it being separated like 
I didn't know what to do with the rest of it, if I should separate it and turn it into a, a library on the other side. Um, but then I would be... I would be like cutting off an idea for another room because there were just so many rooms to fill that I didn't want to put too many ideas in the one room. But then, yeah, I did struggle with decorating it. So I left it for a little while. Um, let me know if you have any ideas of like what you would have put in there because I, I forget what I ended up putting in there, but it wasn't really anything too exciting, unfortunately. Anyway, yeah, I think I forgot to mention that... Um, I kind of did like, okay, so I did two staircases and then um, around the staircases up the top, there's, you can look down. How do I explain this? It's a double height ceiling above the stairs. So um, you'll see when we go upstairs that, yeah, it, you can look down and there's, you look down into the hallway. Um, oh, I really like this part of the bowl because um, strangely enough, as someone who likes white on white on white, I really like the pink and yellow and green there. It's crazy, but it reminds me of like a parrot or I don't know, like a tropical garden, like my garden in my backyard with the different colors. I don't know. I really like it. Um, of course, I'm struggling to find wall art because I feel like I definitely need to buy a pack with more wall art. But I do really like that black and white portrait there. And the marble uh, hall table. But yeah, as you can see, the hallways are quite bare. And okay, so I go upstairs now and I fix up the layout of the house. Because I realize that the house is just simply way too big. So I go in and I adjust it. It looks so much smaller now but believe it or not it's still pretty massive on the inside um it kind of gets swamped by the roofing um but you know what that's okay because it's still functional it still works um for gameplay purposes and i think it still looks pretty okay as well fixing the roof here i mean the spit is a little bit boring but i will leave it in just so you can see what i did in case you want to do the same thing um yeah so like I said I I reduced the floor size of up the upstairs area so much but um now that I think about it when I went in to build it oh my god like even then I still fit in a massive master bedroom with a walk-in wardrobe that led through to the ensuite upstairs and then I fit in two bedrooms as well and those bedrooms each fit in two beds so yeah quite a lot of room I mean if I went back and edited it I would have put in another bathroom as well um because I feel like I didn't put in enough bathrooms in this um I, did I put one downstairs I think I did well, um, <laughs> this is awkward. If I didn't, please ignore that fact. And if you do end up copying this build, put in more bathrooms. Because, I mean, that's like the one thing I could have put in more of. Because these fancy houses normally have like two or three bathrooms at least. And I would have put another one in upstairs for the kids, like to have their own bathroom. What I was going to do downstairs was put in, um like how do I explain it um I was gonna put in yeah I was gonna put in more bedrooms and each bedroom would have an ensuite and then I was like well no I've still got so much room upstairs but then upstairs I only put in yeah the master bedroom with an ensuite and then the two smaller bedrooms so if I went back maybe I would turn the gym into um another bedroom there isn't there is a spare bedroom downstairs like a guest bedroom and that one has an ensuite so yeah I don't know it's up to you if you guys end up replicating a build um if, if you replicate this build or if you do do your own build that's similar to this yeah um maybe put in more bathrooms just for gameplay purposes it's so much easier when your sims are busting to go to the toilet like if they have heaps of bathrooms to choose from <laughs> especially when it's a mansion it takes them so long sometimes to like walk from one area to another um so as you can see back to the build here as you can see um i'm designing a pretty big 
bedroom and it has like a bath it has a bathroom at the end of it but like on the way to the bathroom there's this hallway with wardrobes so it's kind of like a walk-in closet but the wardrobes are still closed off because I think it looks neater that way um but I think if I had a walk-in wardrobe in real life it would be all open because I'm too lazy to shut all the doors every day. <laughs> I just want a room where I put all my clothes. That would be amazing because I have, I ha- I actually have like clothes racks at the moment and I prefer putting my favorite clothes on the clothes racks out in the open to putting them away in my cupboard because I think they look really pretty. Like they're kind of like their own decoration in a room and I feel like I wear them way more than if I put them away. Um so basically like I don't waste clothes as often (laughs) and this bed this bathroom is massive and I decided to keep the the wallpaper all consistent and this wallpaper is so much tamer than the walls downstairs but that's what I wanted I want the I wanted the upstairs to be more classic um it is kind of contradictory but oh well (laughs) I just really liked the way that this bathroom turned out. I kind of want to design a whole house like this. Like the master bedroom and the walk-in wardrobe in the bathroom. I want to do a whole house like this. Um, with the same, yeah, the same style. But we'll see because um, I really need to develop my style and really challenge myself to step away from building planar builds or like, builds that have like really light shades yeah so oh here I am designing the kids bedrooms and I totally forgot that when I was building this there's actually four kids but then I remember again if I had have thought about it earlier on I probably would have built four bedrooms for the kids um but then you know what they're still young so I'm sure that they're okay with sharing a bedroom (laughs) And when they're older, they can take one of the bedrooms, one of the rooms downstairs and use it as their own bedrooms. I'm sure that's fine. I actually watch a family on YouTube and they have nine kids and they used to like travel around America in an RV and they all fit in there. Nine kids and two parents. And I find it so inspiring that they made it work. Um, I don't know if I've talked about them before in another video, but when I build these houses and I'm like, oh my God, my Sims children aren't going to have enough room. And there's like two to four children. I'm like, oh my God, no. I mean, if real life people can make it work, I'm sure my Sims can make it work. Yeah, I feel like they're going to resent me. And then I remember that they're not actually real. oh yeah I totally put that random bacon and eggs photo there because it's orange and it I feel like these sims characters are kind of like ironic and like hipster and they would have bought that off urban outfitters and thought it was really like you know out there and whatever so yeah I put that in totally random like most of this house build and then I end up putting those shelves in there in the room like I said I didn't really know how to decorate that room so it did end up a little bit random but oh well um and then I go ahead and I put an office in and this is where I use some of the even crazier wallpaper um this is just a little office I have four of these smaller rooms Um, all around the outside of the house and I didn't know how to fill them or what I could put in them and so like I said when the kids get older they could get their own bedrooms these would work so perfectly as their own bedrooms because there's enough room for a single bed a bedside table and maybe like a chair or a desk or something so you could totally change these up later on because they're kind of rooms that are you know they're not that important like you could certainly change the office and put the desk in one of the hallways because there's totally enough room for that same as this playroom but I do kind of like the idea of there being a separate playroom for the kids but you know as they get older they probably won't need that as they as they mature and feel like they just want to go on their phone or ipad or computer more than playing with blocks and toys and books so you could get rid of this room in the office and as you'll see in a minute there's um another room that is just like a chess playing room as well that you could totally get rid of um 
here I am trying to redesign the kitchen. I went back and looked at it and I thought, oh, this looks way too old school and classic. And then I was like, you know, instead of redoing the whole thing, I'll just put in some different chairs and see how it looks. I do look like the way that it turned out. But if I did go back and rebuild it, I would have made the kitchen look like slightly, slightly more crazy or like brighter or something. But it does, I guess it does match the upstairs area a bit. Um... I just wanted this house to look kind of lived in and like it had personality. I keep trying to justify the but like people are really going to think it's totally random. Which it kind of is and I like it that way. Um, so I wasn't sure what to do with these rooms so I end up building a wellness room. So I use the spa items, the, the items from the spa pack. Oh, first of all I put this bar in and I think this area, this little nook here. I keep calling it a nook. I don't know if that's the right word. But I like this little nook here because it works out perfectly for a bar. Um, you know, these parents like to entertain. I feel like the dad, the musician, has people over to to watch him play the piano. And the mum has people over to show them the art that she's made, the paintings that she's made. And they have drinks and stuff, cocktails, great music, great food. Yeah, wow, they, they're really living the life. I, I need their life um yeah and so I put this wellness room in it um basically I end up using the same wooden walls as the tv watching room off the dining room that you saw earlier and then I use the black floors that I've been using throughout and it just looks really calming you know dark and and it'll just be lit by candlelight and dim lighting and so that they can go in and meditate and have a massage or a foot massage and just chill out basically um I really would love a house like this uh, and then from the from this idea I get an idea that I should put a gym in as well in the next room and I think that's a great way of filling space in any sims house put a gym in because at one point you'll probably want to make your sims work out especially if you're trying to get those life points because um, that's like an aspiration as well like getting fit in the game for game purposes um yeah so I go ahead and I put a gym in right about now um and I use the same walls I feel like if I was gonna go back and re-edit it I would have put lighter walls in but you know what it was the main goal of this build to not put so much white in and light the light decorating in so so that's okay uh, and I put two TVs in because these guys are loaded <laughs> so they can totally afford two TVs just in the gym and then I wasn't sure what to do with this room like if I should put another bathroom in and then I got the idea of putting a sauna in because why not if you're rich put a sauna in I feel like these people would totally be into that and then um, this is a kind of an oddly shaped room so I feel fix it up a little bit and I wasn't sure what to do with that little nook there so I put in two leather style 70s ish chairs and the navy blue rug and then um the navy blue walls that I tend to use in every build in at least one room here I have a little bit of trouble deciding which bed that I want um because I wanted it to kind of match the chairs I wanted to give a 70s vibe I wish there was a 70s pack I'm really into the 70s lately if you can't tell like yeah 70 60 70s mod maybe it's because I've been watching so much of like this is us and other 70s shows so yeah here I am deciding which bed and I changed it up a few times um also I really like that lampshade I've never used it before and I normally think that it's ugly but for this purpose I really like it and I really like the the way that the suitcases go with the chairs I really like that as well so yes here I am being indecisive about the curtains as well um I th yeah I think I ended up going for those green ones kind of regret it but they looked they looked 70s enough so I put them in and then I end up doing like a really dark bathroom um I dig it you know like it's, it's all right it's nice to do yeah something that I wouldn't normally do 
as I've said throughout this build. Um, I think this is one of the last rooms that I end up doing. Uh, oh no, no, there's more. <laughs> so yeah, I haven't done this chess room yet. And I like this chess room because it's completely black and white. <clears throat> so I get rid of this wallpaper, this green wallpaper, because I've just kind of had enough at that point of green. So I, once I see the chess table is black and white, I'm like, yes, okay, I'll totally make a black and white room. Look how trippy that is. It's totally trippy, but I really like it. <laughs> It even has a black lampshade, so yeah, and black and white curtains. I'm really proud of that idea. Um, yeah, and then I and then I realized that there's this whole other room that I have yet to build. Um, and once again, I get rid of the walls that are segregating the rooms, and maybe I would have been better off turning that into another bathroom and another bedroom. But in this case, I decided to make a library. And of course, in keeping with the spirit of this build, I went for some pretty crazy colors. I decided to make the entire room a yellow room. I normally never build with yellow, ever. Like, it's so rare for me to use this color. So I was like, you know what, go all out, make it entirely yellow. And I think it would be cool to have a house where you can be like, oh, where are you? And the person could be like, I'm in the yellow room, the reading room. I thought that would be cute. I don't know why. So yeah, this is basically, well, it's a reading room, it's supposed to be a library, but there's also a TV in there, and a fireplace, just to make it cozy, because who doesn't love to read a book by the fire, which I have never done and can never vouch for, but um, I can imagine that it would be nice. I feel like this house would be a really good Airbnb as well, like, because it's kind of crazy, People would like to stay here because it's just so like, I feel like it's definitely Instagram worthy. I think you can get some great Instagram shots for sure. And then I put that really ugly painting in because oh, why not? So yeah, I'm, I'm done with the build. So uh, I'm done with the build downstairs, it turns out. <laughs> um, then upstairs, yeah, I just do a really simple, I do a really simple uh, kids bedroom in each for both of them I get these gradient walls and the idea is that um there's two kids in each room obviously one room is bigger than the other I couldn't quite get it even I believe that one was one square bigger than the other but I was just like you know what this is the end of the build I'll get over it um and then I put different side tables in I really like those suitcases I love the fact that they included bright colors for the suitcases because that looks so cute in a kid's bedroom and it just provides extra storage as well and then they all get like a different lamp and a different colored bed and all of that um struggling with the curtain choice once again but I quickly get over it and then I just have to go in and put some um, little rugs in the rooms because I think wooden floors can be a little bit cold in winter. But I don't like putting carpet in bedrooms because I'm someone who gets allergies and just practicality wise I don't like carpet in bedrooms. And also in the game the carpet doesn't look that good. Um, and then I wasn't quite sure what to do with all of this room upstairs. I could segregate it into more rooms, but then I was like, you know what? I've got so many rooms. I don't really need to. So I kind of just make an eclectic sort of rumpus area. I don't know if that's what you call it, but basically just like a little sitting area with a bookshelf that they can just chill in um, before they go to bed. Maybe they're just waiting for a bedtime story or something. Um, just a nice little family area. It would be kind of cool if they rented out downstairs as an Airbnb and they kept upstairs for living purposes, like for their, the, for themselves and they could add a kitchen or something. I'm just thinking about that now. Um, if I was to, if I was to own a house like this in real life, maybe I would want to like live upstairs and rent out downstairs. But anyway, there I am. I'm finished the build and I'm going to include some screenshots at the end right after I finish editing the, the exterior of this house so yeah thumbs up uh comment and subscribe if you enjoyed have a good day and I'll hopefully see you in the next video bye guys